Hi everyone, it's Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Crates. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, so you know what that means. It's manga review time. And today's review, we are going to take a look at Soul Eater. This is a um, omnibus, so it's not the individual volumes. This contains, I believe, a volume and a half. I could be wrong. And uh, these are hardcovers, which I like a lot. It's published by Square Inks, which I think a lot of people are more familiar with when it comes to video games. Uh, they look really nice on the shelf, and I like the binders as well. Now, the paper quality is even top-notch. It is that glossy, instead of the um, newspaper-type prints you get in regular manga. I don't know if that's a good analogy, but... It's it's high high end. <laughs> um, they do cost a little bit. Um, I had got a deal though off Amazon, and then I got a few other volumes off um, Right Stuff. But this is uh, a series written by Atoshi Okobo. Hopefully, I said that right. And it is like a dark fantasy comedy that focuses on a group of kids who are wielders. They're assigned a weapon who are also living beings, and they take the shape of a human when they're not being used as a weapon. And they're tasked by Death himself to hunt down souls. And the goal is to hunt down, I believe it's 99 souls, and the last one has to be a witch in order for the weapon to hit its full strength. And once they achieve that, the weapon then becomes one of Death's weapons. It's, it's a very interesting tale, it's, um, how can I say this? It kind of has, like, the, um, aesthetic of it. It reminds me a lot of, like, Nightmare Before Christmas. It's very Tim Burton with the art style. Uh, it's very Halloween-themed. There's a lot of characters that show up on this that are well-known characters throughout history, and most of them are the ones whose souls they're hunting. There's also a lot of great relationship dynamics between the characters, um, including the uh, wielders and their weapons. There's uh, family relationships. Uh, you have Death has a son. Uh, one of the main characters is a girl. Her father happens to be Death's main weapon, and they don't have a good relationship because he tends to womanize. Uh, it's, it looks very cartoony. I hate to use the word cartoony because I know some people get offended by that, but it's, it's very... Um, like I said, like a Nightmare Before Christmas, but more animated feel. Now, what I will tell you up front is if you have kids, I would not recommend this because despite it looking much like it could be kid-friendly, there's a lot of things in this book that could be deemed um, problematic, at least by the Twitter mob. So um, if you're a parent and your kid's interested in this, I tell you to take a look through it quickly and decide for yourself. There's, like, nudity. It's not as, I would say, it's not as um, bold as it is in some more mature mangas. They do kind of, like, hide certain items, but still, again, I would say take a look at it and decide for yourself. Um, again, this is only the first volume or I, of the Omnibuses, so it's, I believe, a volume and a half. But it does kind of set you on this path where you start to wonder, like, why are these kids doing this for death? Like, what is the end goal of this? Why, um, why should they be hunting and strengthening these weapons? The other thing I'm trying to figure out, and somebody can tell me down below in the comment section... Is this like an alternate world or is this like another dimension that exists in our world? Because they do visit a lot of locations that are from Earth. But it's not exactly Earth. Like there's a lot like of more supernatural and uh, otherworldly. That's why I keep using Nightmare Before Christmas as a reference because... The world they live in is kind of like something you would see in a Tim Burton movie. It's kind of gothic in many sense. You have like the witches and all. So it's like a different society from normal society. That's probably the best way to put it. And I love the design elements. I really do. I mean, I do like Tim Burton. But in this, it kind of like makes it its own with 
certain characters and their looks. Um, they stand out very well from one another. There's nothing too uniformed or too much alike amongst them. Each weapon has their own personality. There's even um, Death Sun has two weapons who turn in, they're two girls who turn into two guns. So he has an advantage over his um, other soul hunters. Uh, they they they're funny because they're they're very much outgoing and and adventurous. Where he is, um, he's neurotic. That's what I'll put. I don't want to spoil it. When you read it, you'll understand. So they're always dealing with that personality of his. It's hilarious. Then you have the main character, a girl who is like trying to succeed and become as successful, if not exceed her, her mother. Her mother used to be a soul hunter, and that's how I guess she met the father. We, we don't get an explanation yet on that. And she is very determined to make it, and her weapon is this boy who turns into a, a psy. And he he's he's more like rebellious at times. She's gotta always kind of like put him in his place because he will sometimes jump ahead. And sometimes if she feels like they're at odds and that she doesn't know she can trust him, and he does some things where you think he is um, betraying her, but he's really not. And since she's in such a path to succeed she gets annoyed with that. And like their first attempt, they get this close to actually killing a witch. And then it turns out it's not a witch and they have to start all over again, which frustrates her. It even frustrates him. Um, death sees so much potential in her, but I can't help but feel death is hiding something. And again, this is only the first volume. So I know there's a few, I think there's going to be a total of 17 volumes in the omnibuses, which is great. Um, I have right now, I think, up to four. And, yeah, I feel like Death's hiding something. And then I feel bad for her dad, who's trying really hard to rebuild his relationship with her. But he kind of does it to himself with this whole, like, you know, being unfaithful to his wife. He's actually sitting in a brothel at one point, crying over how much he misses his wife and daughter while he's womanizing. <laughs> So you're, you, you're kind of like, you don't feel sorry for him, but at the other point, you, you do understand why he wants to have a relationship with his daughter, and you understand why she has problems with him. There are other characters that haven't been introduced yet. There is also a teacher that comes into it, but I can't tell you too much, because if you haven't read the first volume, there's a story plot there in the first volume, and to say anything will ruin it, and I don't want to do that. But if you're like a big fan of this like gothic like comedic, again, I'll say Tim Burton-esque type environment. I would suggest this book. I'm enjoying it. I said I got up to volumes four. I'm probably going to pick up more. I'm trying to get them when they're on sale because like normally they're $22. I did get them for um, $19.99 on Amazon. And then when I was on Right Stuff, they had them down to $17.99. And then there was a, a, a sale recently on Books A Million, where if you um, buy over $50 worth of manga and you use their coupon code, you get 10% um, off. So I did get like the fourth volume for that, plus some other stuff, which you'll see in my manga haul. Um, also, I have a membership with Books A Million, so I get free shipping. I always suggest that if you're doing Barnes & Noble and Books A Million, sign up for the membership. It's worth it. You get the free shipping, and you get alerted about these deals in advance. But yes, I do recommend um, Soul Eater. I think it's really good if you want to check it out. Like I said, Amazon, Books Millions, Barnes & Noble, Right Stuff. The hardcovers are really nice. I have not held or looked at a individual volume in person. But I do like hardcovers, and I wish we could do more hardcovers. So tell me, have you read Soul Eater? Is it something that might interest you? Is there anything else similar to it you think I should check out? I know about Fire Force, and I will be starting that eventually. But go ahead, comment down below, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.